Hey guys, Career Blind Wave. I'm Melanie. I'm Aaron. And welcome back. I haven't seen you all in a very long time. No, you have not. <laughs> we are doing Supergirl because it's back now. Because it's been gone forever. Forever. It's been a while. All these shows have been offline for a while, so we've been busy. But Melanie hasn't been around for too much stuff lately. Yeah. But she's had, a, I think she had a couple streams. Or been on a couple of streams. If you guys are following our twitch.tv slash blindwave streams. If you aren't, make sure you guys follow over there. Because when we hit 5,000 followers, we'll be doing a 24-hour stream. In which Melanie will probably show up in there, too. Eh, probably. I always stop by. But, since then, um, what happened last episode? Last episode was a crossover episode. Mm, that's right. I forgot. It was like a crossover. Yeah. <clears throat> All we saw was vaginas everywhere. What? Go women! There were some, there were some cosmic vaginas, yes, but uh, <laughs> it kept on teasing us because Barry never actually made it through until the very end. So like the last like no thirty seconds was like a crossover. They were just playing just with the tip. Anyway, but, but we killed off Medusa. Hmm. Medusa was supposed to kill off all the aliens, right? Or was it all the humans? All the humans. But then they, Jimmy rigged it. To where it killed off all the aliens. It was supposed to kill off all aliens and keep Kryptonians alive. Yes. So this was supposed to kill off all... I think it was supposed to kill off all aliens and then keep Kryptonians and humans alive. Is what it was going to do. But they managed to stop it. Remember how they had the bar scene? and Oh, yeah. Like, those aliens mm -hmm. gotcha. And all that it's stuff all was going on. All the good aliens. So we had all that stuff going on and uh, Supergirl ended up... Uh, saving the day with the help of Martian Manhunter, who they also were fighting Cyborg Superman, who they defeated, but then ran away. Yeah, that was crazy. And uh, what's her name? Hmm, Morgana. What's Morgana's name? Lena? Lena, Lena Luther. Luther. Helped to catch her mother, so she might not be bad. She might not. I hope not. We don't really know. She makes a really good bad person, though. Hmm. Just saying. Anyway. And uh, other than that... <laughs> Right into the action. Okay. Jewel Thieves. The Watchdogs. Supergirl. Oh, oh. At least her dodging techniques are getting better. Oh, he's just a rocket launcher. It wasn't even a Kryptonian rocket launcher, right? Just catch it with your teeth. With her teeth? <laughs> oh, it did blast her back. Pow, right in the mouth. Oh, they're gonna die. They're dead. Not dead. See the fire flying out of the back end of that? They're not dead. How'd they get out? <gasps> yeah! <Ooh. laughs> oh, I love the voice. <laughs> I sound like that. <laughs> I Ooh. love that. I like so how it does much. it, yeah. Get the reference. Oh. <laughs> oh, woohoo! <laughs> oh! Oh crap! Mm, God, when... Dang it! Oh no! Stay in the truck, when Alex has plants and a little girly chuckle. It's so cute. Now you're wearing my T-shirt and making coffee. Over. I can't believe this is happening. Oh. Everything coming out of my mouth is very like nice. pillow fights and stuff. It's called being happy. Summer parties? Oh, that, is that what you did at summer parties? Some of us. <laughs> Them. Excuse me? Is the alien bar? Yeah. Oh, hi. Could I, uh, could I just please have a clip soda? Hang on. Ooh, he's back. Hi. Now, is Megan still in there you jail? Go, the That's the bar we're going to go to. They were a little short-staffed, so I took a job. You're not invited. And, you know, I... Yeah. Whoa, is it like a teleporter or um Not a perfect candidate? Oh, Always happy to help. I do love mm. her outfit. Mm hmm They all had blood work done a few days before they disappeared. Blood work? Mm. That's weird. That's why I don't get blood work done. <laughs> no, no. 
You just keep on exactly why. He was like, hey, you want to get blow over done? I'm like, nope, could get kidnapped. <laughs> Actually, we, we can't no. uh, get blood. That is, that's against our religion. Yes. yes. Mine too. <laughs> Very religious. <laughs> what is that? Looks like a teleportation device. Whoa. Fight him. You guys are super strong. Is that a red sun? Oh, there's the lizard guy. It's a red sun, isn't it? <sighs> yep. Shit. She can do it. No powers under red sun. But he does! Mm, no, I think his works the same way. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ooh. Saw that coming. Well, now who's gonna help us? That's why you were supposed to go to the DA. Ooh. Same people. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not what they do. <laughs> uh, they hold their sticks up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Good job. Well, there is one way. As a slave, getting caught. True. Are they saluting him or aiming? Oh, okay. We surrender. My give up. My give up. <laughs> okay, Jar Jar. What are you talking about? I was happy for like five minutes. What? No, I'm sorry. She's this, blaming this her happiness. Is a mistake. I'm, I'm sorry. You. <sighs> See you, Dambers. What the what? What the hell? If this isn't deja vu. Huh. Oh! Oh no! Oh man, I hate these guys. Is that what bought them? The Dominators? They're both in there. Like cattle prod. Get her. Together. This is the first real fight scene. Good. Now you guys listen to us. We're taking this planet over. I'm not a red shirt. He's going to meet you. I'm not a red shirt. <laughs> I'm not a red shirt. <laughs> Dang. Got him. Oh, I got dibs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, oh, ooh. I think his gun got hit. <sighs> Why is he not shoot? <sighs> Huh. Told ya! Told ya! Told ya! Quit! Told me what? He's the prince! Probably. Why is he not? Joe's gonna hit him in the head! Oh! Dad, that's not Joe! Uh-oh. Round two. Joe's gonna hit him in the head. There you go, Win. There you go, Win. Win got four! See? I'm not the red shirt! I'm not the red shirt! <laughs> I'm not the red shirt! <laughs> no, someone else. I'm gonna get shot. What's going on? Joe! Go, 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 go. Oh! No! Oh, yellow sun power, yeah! Oh, yeah! Sun grenade. Taste of home. Well, that's cool. Earth smells funny. Always smell like this. <laughs> I like him. He's like my new favorite character. What? I love Joe. I'm so sorry, Mom. 
I, I should have listened to you. I love you. No. And a girl, Danvers. <laughs> So about what I Supergirl went missing and then I just I blew a gasket and because Supergirl's your sister. Well, what are you talking about? Do. Come on. Look, I, I know you. The only person you get that torn up over is Kara. I'm just my sister on help. I always said that too. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> So what brings you by? I just wonder if you've uh, a mate yet. You know, <laughs> some shopping, a little evening stroll. <laughs> no, I, um... <clears throat> there we are. There we go. <laughs> I, was, I was wrong. <laughs> That's... You're gonna have to listen to me. <laughs> I will listen to you. Let's get a response. Well, well. Oh yeah, roulette's stuck on this planet then, right? Great. Uh, what's that? May I help you? He's not here. He left. Where? Where is Monel of Daxon? Earth. He's gone to Earth. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Didn't like him anyway. It did. All right. of so those were the people that we saw. Was it last episode? Or episode before where they were like, find Monel. We were looking for him. They had their own spaceship flying around and stuff. Remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's who those people were. Okay. Um, so, okay. I got a couple things. I wrote a lot down. Did you write all of that today? Yeah. Everything. Even this? No. Oh, then you lied. That's supernatural crap. Which is later. So, Dominator showed up here after showing up on Earth 1. Yep. So there's a connection. There are Dominators in both. And they both seem to be similar. At least, like, look and they were both psychic, I guess, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. With the glowing brain and... I don't know why, why they didn't want him shot. And why he bowed to him, I guess and he was highly respectful. I guess he's worth more if he's alive, if he is the prince. But he bowed. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. I mean, that, that only just points at, like, hey, he's the prince. But why didn't he want him dead? Unless it was a matter of, like, hey, he's more expensive to me. He's more worth more this way. Unless there's an alliance between the Dominators and Daxum. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, but he's the last one left. There's not much of a reason to keep an alliance going. Or maybe not so much an alliance between them, but a mutual enemy of whoever the glitchy people are. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. It just seemed weird. I'm wondering if we'll see more of the Dominators again or anything. Yeah, which is cool. I like them. I like a lot about them. Like, they're psych and... They are huge. <laughs> They're just epic looking. And they take over everything. <laughs> they are a very difficult enemy to deal with. So I enjoyed seeing them again. Yeah, they were cool. There was only one. And I guess he was buying slaves. Human slaves. Would you figure he could just mind control slaves, but I don't know. Yeah, why? W Maybe they couldn't mind control. I'm trying to remember what they, all they did. I guess they never mind controlled anybody. They kidnapped people, they talked to them through their minds, and they shot stuff. There was the moment whenever they were on the planet and uh, they heard a noise and then he went, troop transports. <laughs> I was just curious how he knows their troop transports by just by smelling? smelling the air. Was that Joe? Who smelled the air? Who Monel. Monel did? Yeah. It was before they even met Joe, before he got his foot trapped. And they saw, like, the big place. And they're like, oh, that way. He's like, no, let's go back. Like, nope, that's where we're going. But they heard a noise, like, what's that? And they're like, hmm, that's troop transports. 
The smell horrible. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they they're the only diesel running. One. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> don't know. Uh, starting way back in the beginning, Guardian's Shield. Like no matter how many times I see it, I'm just like that is awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like just how it unfolds. It reminds me of the sword that the druid has on. Um, uh, Shannara Chronicles. Shannara. It, it's pretty it just neat. unfolds. It just comes out of his arm. Puzzle pieces together. It's really cool. Kind of Iron Manny. But I agree with you. They need to switch out that uh, helmet and make it yellow. Make him yellow and black instead of maybe they'll do that later on when he has more time to mess around with it. Yeah, whenever wins like we need to get colorful with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. The missing girl. Mm-hmm. What you said was Harley Quinn Smith. Mm-hmm. This was the episode that Kevin Smith directed. So, uh, I know his daughter has acted in some stuff. Mm-hmm. Also, it's been some stuff that she's acted with in his movies. Um, we've talked about them with uh, Eric and Shane and stuff like that on some of our videos. But, uh, actually, we got some of them in a mailbag once. But... I'm pretty sure that's who that was. It did say Harley Quinn Smith was in the show somewhere. I think it made sense that it was her. I think it was her because the last time I saw Kevin Smith, the last real thing I saw, he was streaming live on Facebook, I think it was, on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. And he had his daughter with him. And they were interviewing and just going all, you know, fan crazy over everything. Oh, it was for um, Rogue One. Yeah. Yeah, he's hyped about that. Yeah, it was awesome. So... Kevin Smith, awesome job, mm-hmm. and thank you for bringing your daughter into this. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. He usually tries to bring people in every once in a while. Like, he had uh, Jason Mewes in The Flash when he did that. Yeah. And just different things like that. Like, hey, you have a part for this? I, yeah, I know somebody. You know, just bring somebody in. I think it's so cool. I, I love that he does that. Yeah. It makes me feel like if we did something like, like that, we'd be putting, like, ourselves in every once in a while. Like, hey, why don't you guys come and yeah. work on this? Oh, Yeah. The sexy bartender scene. The bar that, you know, the Baba and I will chill out at There was later. no sexy bartender <laughs> scene. There was just a bar scene with Monel and Kara. And then we can drink all the club soda that we want made out of vodka. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like Alex's uh, blaming of herself. Like, because she had happiness for a little bit. Like, basically, she was too distracted. She should have been there to keep Kara safe, and it's her fault. Yeah, she thought that being smitten just ruined everything. Yeah, I feel like we've had that in season one and two already, that we should be getting past that, which maybe we will be now. But, like, she always blamed herself. Like, she already talked about, like, how whenever she cared about things for herself, something bad always seemed to happen. And she's afraid of that. And I think... Kara would also tell her, like, no, it has nothing to do with you. Like, I feel like that same situation would have happened regardless of her being happy or not or whatever, you know? So it's not yeah, a... Yeah, I agree there, but if you think about it, <coughs> the things that she has done to make herself happy, like, went out on a date with, what's his name, Max or whatever? Yep. Like, I mean, that was pretty destructing, <laughs> destructful, whatever. So, unfortunately... She does follow unfortunate series of events. <laughs> mm. I don't know about that. I just think that there's coincidences with things that happen. Yeah. Like her Max thing wasn't, I mean, it wasn't, he was kind of bad, but he wasn't horrible. He did kind of help turn around and do things and whatnot. Eventually, but yeah. But he wasn't like the ultimate bad in that. He was just kind of like a anti hero y kind of character that was... He had his own opinions, and she knew that going in. So, honestly, it's that part is her fault. But I don't know if necessarily, like, what she knows about Maggie and what all's going on. I don't feel like she should be trying to blame herself on the whole situation. Yeah. Um. Oh, sorry. I have to say this. What's the game that you just played that I hated, that you made me start? Um... You go into a doctor's office for this experimental test, and then you get put inside a MRI machine, and you get sent, and crazy monsters start chasing you. You want Soma? You didn't. You didn't. You didn't get to that part. 
You you went to the doctor's office, had to find a way into the hallway, and then you never went further than the hallway. You gave up. That's what that reminded me of. You didn't get to any scary parts. I don't care. It was all scary. Soma. Should be coming to uh, YouTube at some point, too, if you guys missed the live stream of that. If not, make sure you guys join twitch.tv slash blindwave to see more live streams. <laughs> um, I feel like Eric's going to be happy that they made a comment about the glasses not helping, because he always complains about... There's no difference. ...about the outfit. It's... It shouldn't be about the glasses, although it's supposed to help. The main thing about it, which I don't think Kara does at all, is the way you carry yourself versus how you are as Superman and, you know, yeah, Clark. Yeah, like Superman. Clark Kent. Yeah, and even Superman in this, which Kara's n newer at this whole thing, sure. But um, Clark Kent... And the Superman in this one, and especially Christopher Reeves, who did a really good job with it, um, had such a thing about, like, I'm Clark Kent, I'm Superman. Like, having, like, you know, that guy, you know, looking at someone and being like, well, there's no way that guy is strong or powerful or confident or anything, just by looking at him. And then seeing Superman, who was the exact opposite. Kara doesn't have that. Kara is Kara, and Kara is Kara. Kara, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just how she is. If she had more of a difference in, like, the way she acts, necessarily... But really, it's just, I have glasses. Yeah. That's her disguise. Yeah, my hair's up. My hair's down. Yeah. So, if if she had more of that kind of stuff going on, which maybe she'll learn more about that. Like, maybe people will start to realize and she'll start having to put on more of a facade for the different uh, identities she has. But... I met my new favorite character. No. <laughs> no. Joe. He's, he's not going to show up ever again. He's, he's, like, he's hilarious. He's going to be in every episode after this. No. He has to be. He's not that interesting. <laughs> he's just a he's a lizard that happened to catch them so that they could get caught anyway. He was great comedic relief. Really? I appreciate it. You really it. didn't need him at all. No, you really didn't. They could have easily had been caught and then just, like, he, he put his foot in the thing. He got caught by the slavers. They took him to prison anyway. Like, what was the point of having him there? Comedic relief. It was appreciated. He, he wasn't funny either. I loved him. He was fantastic. Good job, Kevin Smith. I will say I like I liked the yellow sun grenade too. It's very yeah. interesting. I wonder if it's gonna be something that will come back again. I hope. They said they only had enough to make one, but maybe with some more time they can make another in case something happens where she loses her power somehow or something like that and. Needs a boost of sunlight somehow, or I don't know. Or if they find some way to recreate it in general. It, it, it's very handy to have. Well, yeah, but I'm, what I'm <laughs> just saying, like, having one of those and then having a situation where it would be needed again. Now that they've introduced it, if there is something, like, I'm just trying to think of a location of somehow where they would need it. On Earth, typically, you're not going to, mm -hmm. unless she's spending long times uh, underground or something. Cat mess. Or maybe if she gets, I don't know, if Monel gets kidnapped and she goes to the ship and their ship's by a red sun, I don't know. But they've introduced that. Maybe they could use it again. The whole gun on the mantle kind of idea. I melted. Whenever he gave her uh, at a girl. <laughs> hmm. Who? When? Uh, what's his face? The head journalist. Oh, at the end when he just yeah. said, "Good job, Danvers." It's, he gave her at a girl. I like how it fits in with him too, because he uh, he's proud of her making her decisions and stuff like that, because that's what he wants her to do. But at the same time, he's not giving her the the benefit of like, yes, I'm doing a good job. For her, that's what she needs to do, and that's what's right. And she doesn't care if he likes it or not, which is how he wants her to be. Mm -hmm. So I like that. I loved it. It made me melt. I was like, oh, I'm so happy. Even though she didn't get to hear it. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, that's about all I have, except for the quote um, that Alex said, no one gets better by running away. Whenever she was talking to Wynn and trying to encourage mm -hmm. him to go to the next planet with her. Very true. I liked that quote. And then after that, pretty much the next scene... They showed all of the um, kidnapped slaves not running away. <laughs> yeah. So 
I thought that fit in nice. So next we have our Q and A's that we need to do. Uh, we'll be doing Q and A's for all of our shows, uh, the live shows throughout the week. So just make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. Uh, we'll be doing hashtag Supergirl Q and A for the Supergirl stuff. Hashtag Flash Q and A. Hashtag Shield Q and A. Um, Legends Q and A. And I guess hashtag Supernatural Q and A. That was long. SPN. SPN. That's what it is. Um, also for the Q and A questions throughout the week most times we will be doing the shows the morning after it airs rather than the night of so for people living in different time zones other than us you'll have a lot more time to be able to get q and a's in whereas before you only had like in within an hour or two after after the show aired so keep that in mind if you guys have any q and a's be able to get them in a lot easier now do it through our twitter at blind wave prop jeffrey said dominators that yeah. was the alien from the crossover. Yes, it was, Jeffrey. Not too much, but just a small cameo. Probably just to kind of tie in some things. A nice bow. I'm sure that we'll be seeing more of them. I hope. And Curiosity Kitty also said, Return of the Dominators. What do they want with mon -El? Did he seem surprised at all or no? No, I didn't think so. It's just like they bowed to me. Eh, it's normal. Deuces. I just think he knows. I don't know. If he knew where what planet they were on and all this stuff, then he might have known what the Dominators are. Heck, didn't uh, didn't Kara know what Dominators were? Oh. But no, um, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure about being surprised. I don't think he was really surprised. I still don't know, really know what was going on with that whole thing. It seemed very odd. Um, Daniel said, <clears throat> what did you think of the Yellow Sun Bomb? P.S. Shout out to Kitty for helping me catch up on the CW-verse. Well, thank you, Kitty. <laughs> um... I like the sun bomb. I thought it was very interesting, and I, I hope that it was done for this as a way to come back again in the future for like something, like make us forget about it. not use it for like ten episodes or something like that. Make us kind of forget about it, and then have some some something where we need it, and it just oh yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. So next season, we'll be seeing more of that. <clears throat> um, Jen said, "Would you be a red shirt?" In the Supergirl universe. Hi, Melanie Hart. <laughs> what was the question? Would you be a red shirt in the Supergirl universe? It would so totally be worth it. I would never be any colored shirt. He'd Star be Trek. shirtless. Shirt. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what? No, I wouldn't be a red shirt. I'd be uh, like blue or green or something. Blue or green? Something that's not going to die. Because you all know how he fights for the green. <laughs> Dan P. Blind Wave, who do you think is stronger, Supergirl or Machop? <laughs> Speed King said, do you think mon will be in Season 3 as Superboy or something because it seems like National City has three heroes? Hmm. True. It could be getting kind of crowded, I guess. Um... The Arrowverse had the same issue, and then they started splitting people up and sending the Legends off. Flash had the same thing, and they've kind of split off with Firestorm not being around all the time and everything. So there could be something, or maybe there could be a Young justice -y kind of movie or uh, TV series or something. Or he's not going to be Superboy at all, and they're just going to kill him off. Maybe. Sorry to Baba. mon -El in the comics, I don't believe, was actually Superboy, right? No. Like, what's his name? Um, Con L. Con L is called Super Connor, Boy. right? Yeah. Um, I forget who Mon L was. He was a different like Adam. No, not no. Adam. Good no. lord. <laughs> he was a different superhero in the comics, so maybe they'll just make him that character, and have him do something. I don't know. Or maybe they'll make him Superboy. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with him exactly, but I could easily see them sending him somewhere else or. Having some kind of other spinoff episode that increases and expands their CW uh, superhero universe. I like him, but I don't like him that much to follow him in his own universe. Unless it is Young Justice. That's or, what I'm saying. Like, like I, what they did with uh, Legends of Tomorrow. They didn't just say, hey, we're going to put Sarah Lance in her own show by herself. They said, hey, we're going to take these heroes from this show and these heroes from this show and put them in, the, in this show with these heroes. So, I could see them maybe doing something like that, too. It'd be kind of cool if they had Young Justice, or maybe just like a, 
I don't know, like a pre justice kind of thing. Especially if they can't get... If they, I mean, they got a Superman now. They could kind of make a Justice League and a Young Justice if they kind of build into something like that. Could be kind of fun. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I get that it could get too crowded having Guardian and Supergirl mm-hmm. and mon and then, you know, Superman shows up again or something. And You also have Martian Manhunter. You also have McGann. Which McGann, we have not seen her last episode or this episode either, right? Mm-mm. She was in a She's locked up. She's been gone for two episodes. She's locked up in the little cage because of the white Martian blood cell stuff and being a white Martian and all that good stuff. Um, Jonah said, do you think this is Kevin Smith's best CW-directed episode? He is mm-hmm. returning for another Supergirl episode. Well, that's cool. good. Um, this one wasn't too action based. It was kind of like straightforward and I don't know. Click. So I don't think he had that much opportunity to put in his creative eye into this episode. Well, I know that this one, I think this episode was called Supergirl Lives, which is a reference to his movie that he was supposed to direct called Superman Lives. Which basically went around a whole bunch of stuff for being written, directed, acted by, and then ultimately went nowhere. Like, people were tossed into work. Like, Nicolas Cage at one point was going to be Superman. Um, Kevin Smith was supposed to direct. Tim Burton was supposed to direct. A um, whole bunch of things were going on with that. So, I don't know if he had any influence on the episode itself based on that. Or if they just had that little name there just as a tie-in. Like, they could have made this this actually kind of... Similar to maybe some ideas they had from that movie. I don't know. But hmm. as far as his best directed episode, I don't know. I still really like, uh, what was it called? The Runaway Dinosaur? Oh my gosh. That from The Flash was very good. I like that one a lot. You're going to make me cry again. I um, hated that episode. Of- and then he had he had another one from The Flash that was also pretty good too. So I don't know. I don't know if I'd call this one his best directed. I mean, it was it was good. It was fine. I enjoyed it. But I think the the runaway dinosaur probably was one of my favorites. It's a really good one. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Hurry up! Bef- Mascara is not waterproof. But thanks to Edwin B, the eyeliner is. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. I don't really see too much else on here for. What about Eric? Oh yeah, Eric. Arr. Eric sent me a book. Eric wanted to be here tonight. However, he's too busy doing other things. So he's here in spirit. Um, Harley Quinn Smith played Izzy. Really enjoyed Kevin bringing his daughter on the show, knowing how huge of a Supergirl fan she is. And considering she is named after another DC character, it's just good fun. Chief Snapper is my new favorite character. His antagonizing of Kara to motivate her is the perfect way to get her to turn off her too nice to play rough attitude and up her fierceness as a reporter, one of her weaknesses as a hero. Kara and Monel are so sweet, I think I have full-on diabetes now. That's let's share the blanket is totally my move. They will bang soon, yes. Mm, no. I don't know. I don't know if I want them to bang. I don't want them to. <laughs> I, I don't like Kara with anybody. Like, is that weird? Like, I I don't know if it's because I'm a Glee fan, but I still see Kara as, like, you know, like a 14-year-old girl that should not be doing anything bad. <laughs> I don't know. I guess out of anybody around, I guess Monel works. Yeah, but... It'll probably grow on me. <sighs> now, they led so much into the whole James thing, just to have the first episode just pull it away. So I don't know if I'm too anxious to see her jump into another relationship, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess. Unless it's Wynn. Um, Kara and Monel are... S- oh, no. I already did that one. Don't read it again. The Dominator who knows who Monel is? What's up with that? And if they can detect timeline changes, what about cross-universe changes? Hmm. hmm. I don't know. I don't know if the cross-universe thing would work at all. I can see what you mean, but... 
I feel like they're too separated for that to occur, maybe. Timeline timeline changes are enough. I don't think we need to have crossover. Don't start stuff. this argument again, Eric. That was like a half hour long argument. The downside of the episode is the villains were beat the same way Star Labs gets beat with terrible security. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much they broke out of the one thing. The one people just weren't able to call anybody or not do anything, I guess. I don't know. And the guards were like stormtroopers. One shot down. Yeah. And then the other ones... Well, the other ones, uh, Maggie and them blew up a wall and then shot like three guards. <laughs> True. Maybe they're just not that used to being invaded. So maybe they just didn't have that good of security. But Star Lab should have security by now. All the stuff they have going on, as many times as people come in and out of that thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, best thing is Maggie actually is a detective and worked out the Kara, worked out the Kara is Supergirl secret. No way Cat doesn't know. Hashtag theory confirmed. Hashtag not saying that word. Hashtag diabetes. What was that the word? He said I was right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Cat Grant is no longer Kat in this show. Doesn't know shit because not is it just the the glasses thing? She saw both parties. At the same at time, the same time, because Martian Manhunter decided to disguise himself as mm -hmm. Kara, and that's what she already suspected it. And it's a matter of but, well, obviously she can't be in two places at the same time, so it can't be Kara. I just they just look similar. But now that Martian Manhunter is out, is now publicly known as a Green Martian, and therefore Cat knows. That Martian Manhunter can change his appearance. Does she know? Therefore, I mean, she knows the that he was the one guy. Knows. Do they? Everyone knows about Martian Manhunter, or does yeah. the government know about Martian Manhunter? Everyone knows. Okay. Everyone knows. So therefore, Cat knows that Kara no, is Supergirl. Why? No. No. Yeah. All right. So since Eric and Melanie are on this Cat Grant kick of dumbness. Do you think, do you think that the identity of Supergirl is known by Cat Grant? Does Cat Grant know who Kara really is? Yes, obviously Melanie thinks one way with Eric, and I think the other way because no, she doesn't. Because Cat Grant is a very intelligent woman, and I'm sure that she did the march. But anyway. <laughs> So uh, make sure you guys go to patreon.com slash blindwave. There will be a link at the end of the video, and you guys can check out the poll there on our Patreon site. Be sure to vote. All right. I think it was a very fun episode. I really enjoyed it. I liked I it. I like Joe. I liked it. I'm glad it's back. And uh, that's exactly why I'll never get blood work done. <laughs> we uh, are happy Supergirl is back now, and make sure you guys are checking out some of the other links and buttons around the screen here. If you guys are interested in the poll, check out the Patreon button. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you guys don't miss any of the other CW Universe shows by hitting the subscribe button over the side. Yeah!